today i would like to show you how to use autodesk tinkercad for circuit designs and simulations the good thing with this application is we can integrate both arduino and electrical and electronic circuits together and we can write the coding and we can use it in here for simulation purpose which means you no need to spend any money for the uh, arduino hardware we can use the simulation in here and we can learn the programming and circuit simulations okay today i would like to control a dc motor in forward and reverse directions by using arduino here i will show you step by step process and simulation method and the coding as well to start with let us go to this option here if you click on here you can find option like new design if you click on new design there are three different options 3d design circuit and code blocks here we are going to work with circuits once you click on this you will get a page like this here you can find all the components in the right side and this area you can make the circuit design to control the dc motor i should have three different components the first one is arduino keep it in here okay you now the basic structure is very easy on the top uh, our top side you can see input outputs and in the bottom you can see some uh, power source pins and some analog inputs after this to make the connections we need breadboard then we need a dc motor to control this we need a um, a dc motor controller which is lm293 if you check in the options you can find it bring it here and put it on the breadboard now we have all the components with us we just have to make the wiring the wiring connections in this program is very easy just a drag and drop i need a ground to be connected to the breadboard and positive 5 volts will be connected to the breadboard again now the power supply is available on the breadboard uh, to find the polarity uh, by visually i want to apply some color coding i can change it select the uh, connection wire and change it to the color you want for the ground i am using black for the positive i am using red now the loop i am making in here just to have more options for me to while making connections again i am applying the color coding otherwise this is it now i have to power up this uh, l293d autocontroller if you have schematic just follow it the schematic for this is this one i have to give the positive volt for pin number one and pin number eight again same way how to give it to pin number 16 to pin number nine this is about the positive power then you have to give negative power to v2 terminal to pin number four and five as, we, as I said, just let apply the color coding. Same way in the bottom also, we have to apply ground connection. 
now this is ready for application i already wrote the programming on in arduino uh, so if you see here it is having three options i would like to use text because it's arduino text program it's a default program showing in here delete it then apply our code this is my code to run the motor in both direction i am using two pins pin number 11 and pin number 9 high means clockwise low means anti clockwise i put some delay in here one second while changing the direction so let us make the arduino output connections by using the same since i'm using pin number nine as my one of the output i will connect it to pin number two sorry pin number 15 pin number 15 and write again pin number 9 connected to fifteen. Since it is the output from the R you know, I would like to apply a different code, color code. And then pin number eleven is for another direction which is, will be connected to so okay I have to apply different color coding to differentiate the oops, now let us connect the positive and negative to the motor Right now, we almost made the connections. Now we are going to this, do the simulation. We are going to do the simulation by using the color coding. Okay, just uh, apply the color coding as we are following. Positive to be replaced in red and negative will be in the good thing is you can modify the we can rearrange the wires for better look yeah so my connections are ready and my code is ready let us do the simulation to do the simulation we will use the option here just to start the simulation initializing then the motor is running in both directions with one second delay now if you want to edit the program stop the simulation go to the code i would like to add more delay where i mean between the change of direction i want to add three seconds delay i just add it in the code let us do the simulation start the simulation it's running three seconds in forward direction three seconds in reverse direction so this is how to use the thinkercad uh, we can integrate both Arduino and electronic and electrical circuits together in here and without any hardware we can test it. I hope you like the video. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know. I can give the clarifications. 
please like and share my channel for further more videos. Thank you.